more than 200 miles above the Earth's surface. They live, eat, sleep, and work in zero gravity, in the most hostile environment, in extreme temperatures. And yet, they are still just human. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mary. Mary who? Merry Christmas, Phil. Merry Christmas, Houston. sure I completely understand your kind of humor there, Phil. Phil, we just received info. There was an issue with the R-12 units, so by mistake, they now just discharged the entire toilet container into space. So, just if you see any frozen, well, objects or crystallized Fluids, for example. Well, now you know what it is. <laughs> Phil, the situation now just got more critical. Unfortunately, one bigger piece of excrement is simply blocking the exit hole. It's now causing the pressure to rise inside that uh, toilet container there. There is a chance that this blocking plug can blow at any time. And you could be in the line of fire. Shit. Uh, yes. <clears throat> that is correct. Shit is one of the things that could hit you. Let's put it a bit more simply. You will have to abort now because there is a risk of you getting hit by frozen feces, excrement, or urine projectiles. And they could penetrate and puncture your suit. they have now equalized the pressure. Shouldn't be a critical situation anymore, but we still want to get you back inside to inspect your suit and to avoid getting you too dirty. <laughs> <laughs> 